Brotherhood of Battle. In this tutorial, we'll be going over what each unit in the Brotherhood does and what they specialize in. So we'll start off with the Knight. The Knight is the big buff fat dude, and he is really good in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but you've got to make sure that he's um, not a target of ranged people. So um, get him in combat as fast as possible before he's killed off because he'll be one of the first to go because he does so much damage. Um, so he has his normal attacks and his, his power-based attacks which are a bit stronger. He also has a battle cry buff which will increase all friendly units within range uh, their attack damage for about 20% for 5 turns. So he's really useful. And his unlockable ability is Whirlwind and that, that hits uh, all units within range um, for a high amount of damage. So it's good for killing off a whole bunch of people. Next we have the Mage, and the Mage is really good for group attacks, you know, so when you want to damage a high amount of people, you go in and fireball them and that will concentrate on one person but also hit uh, everyone around that person for an amount of damage. And there's also attacks like Shockwave, and that will blast everyone um, around him away from him. So if he's being crowded and needs to escape or something, that's really useful. Um, other other moves that are useful are things like freeze, and that's great, especially in games like capture the flag, where you need to stop someone dead in their tracks if they have your flag, you know, stuff like that. And uh, his unlockable ability is empower, and basically when empower is used, anyone in range has their um, their power level or their mana um, increased by a certain amount. Next, we have the ranger. The ranger is a really useful scouting unit. So especially when a game starts off and you need a scope of the map, send the ranger in first because he'll be able to use his scout ability to reveal a large portion of the map. Now the ranger isn't really built for lots of combat. He's more of a unit to back up and that sort of thing. Uh, he's really useful when you want to capture a flag and get it back to the base as quickly as possible because he moves the fastest of all the units. Now his researchable attack, which is rapid fire, is a really strong attack to be used, especially in higher amount of player games like four player games when it's all on all. If you get your ranger in the middle of all the action and use his um, rapid fire ability, you'll get like 10 units with a, with a high amount of damage. So that's really useful. Next we have the priest. The priest is one of the most valuable units of the Brotherhood just because without him your guys are pretty much, you know, dead and can't be healed, you know. So you need to make sure you protect your priest, keep him at the back of the troops when you march into battle and stuff, and make sure he's always healing others. And if he's getting damage, use the area heal ability because it will also heal himself. His researchable ability is protect, and that's where the person he uses this ability on is completely invincible for an entire round. So say if some, you capture a flag and... Uh, you know that it's like a four play game and everyone's going to gang up on you until your turn use the protect ability and he will be untouchable until your turn until you can keep getting the flag back so it's really useful when you use it properly and now last on the list we have the rogue and the rogue is a really useful stealth unit if you use him properly so at the start of a game it's always good to kind of um, get him to the side and, and use his sneak ability, which is where he goes invisible. And you've got to make sure you stay away from enemies. Um, so even if you're not attacking, can't get too close, because if you get too close, or if they're in the enemy's turn they move too close, then your guy will be revealed. Okay, so you've got to be careful of that. Uh, he's got some really strong sneaking abilities, though. So when you're invisible and you have enough power, you can sneak attack, which does a high amount of damage. Um, and then there's also, when you're not invisible, if you walk behind someone, you can backstab them, which does like heaps more damage just than a normal attack. He has a bowler's ability, which is throwing this three-balled rope thing, which um, is made to slow people down. Don't use it as an attack because it only does a couple of damage, okay? It's made to stop someone who with the flag, you know, from getting it back to their own base and that sort of thing. Uh, and his researchable ability is one of my favorites. It's assassinate, and it's a one-hit kill thing. The only thing is you'll rarely find um, opportunities to use it because he has to be both invisible and um, on full power. But if you use it strategically when you need to, it's pretty much the most effective because it can't be stopped. You know, you can't heal a dead unit. So 
that's pretty much the Brotherhood, and I hope it's been of help, and visit brotherhoodofbattle.com for more.